Welcome back to the PVP YouTube channel. If you guys joined us last week, and we hope you did, you got to see full coverage from the Texas Truck Jam. Guys, there was a dyno event going on. There was drag racing. We have plenty of people drop by the booth checking out all the billet parts that we offer for you guys when you come into PVP. We had our turbo kits out for display, and you guys got to check out some of the rides by Evil Diesel Fab on Riley. Now, guys, before that, let's recap. Let's get back to business. We had our C1 HV package installed on a red dually. So, guys, we put that truck on the dyno. We got to dive into all the data because that's what you guys want, and so do we. What we do not like about the stock VGT turbos on these Dodge Cummins is the drive pressure is so high. Guys, that is a big red flag anytime we're trying to make more power because we absolutely can't. So what do we got to do? We got to get that stock VGT turbo off there, either a second gen swap or a modified VGT. That's what we have for you today. We've got a fourth gen, so a 2018 Dodge Cummins outfitted, not with our C1HP package, but a C1HP package that he's done on his own. What we have installed is a tater built 63 millimeter turbocharger. We're very curious to what this VGT and back pressure actually puts down on a dyno. Of course, we're after the numbers, but more importantly, how healthy is a new VGT turbo on these fourth gen Cummins? It's down on time, guys. Guys, we just got off the dyno with our 2018 fourth gen Cummins. We've got the Taterbilt turbocharger installed. This has a similar C1 HP package, but not installed by us. Now let's talk about the data. We're gonna throw up the easy link stuff for you to critique right off the bat. Let's talk about that drive pressure. So last week we were around 88 pounds. This week we dropped all the way down to 67 pounds. Guys, that is a game for us. Now keep in mind, when we done this dyno pull, no extra fuel, just stock fuel on it, we did 482 rural horsepower compared to like 460 last week. So we gained horsepower while all in all, we dropped our drive pressure. So guys, we are getting more and more efficient with the package. Now, keep in mind, we're still not that one to one. We're not that one to five. We're almost at that two, you know, two to one ratio. We want to get more one to one in a perfect world, meaning boost pressure. If it says 36 pounds, drive pressure is 36 pounds. That is really hard to do with the VGT turbocharger, but that's what we're trying to achieve. So guys, that brings the next journey. We're gonna be installing different camshafts or we've gotta install a different exhaust manifold with these VGT turbochargers to try to drop that. If we drop that, that means these engines last longer and the cylinder, the head gaskets, they last longer too. We don't have as much cylinder pressures that are up trying to beat that head gasket out. So guys, if you have a factory BGT turbocharger, we'd love to hear from you. Drop in some comments. Tell us about your truck. Tell us about what mods you've done. If you're running a BGT or if you've got a second gen swap, I do like those a lot. I like them a lot. Guys, tell us what your drive pressures are. So guys, tune in every single Friday. We're beating up on the Dodges. We're not gonna let up till we get a more efficient truck. We're gonna be transparent with you all along the way. A lot of people don't do that. We're gonna do that. Want your trucks to last, and when they come in here and we build them, they last. So, guys, see you next week on the PVP YouTube channel.